All right, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to pick up weapons in Unreal Engine 5. It is actually a very easy thing to learn and it's something that you can definitely incorporate into your game if you want a system like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my third person character. I'm gonna go down to where it says mesh. I'm gonna click on this little icon right here to get access to my skeleton mesh. I'm gonna right click on this and then I'm gonna go over to my skeleton mesh and then inside of the search bar where it says skeleton tree, I'm just gonna type in hand. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go down to my right hand and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to add a new socket for my right hand which is right here. Now the reason why I'm adding this socket is because if I go back to my character and then I type in skeleton mesh for me I have a skeleton mesh for my weapon which is going to be my sword and why I do this is basically because when it comes to my weapons basically i like to have weapons directly on my character instead of actually spawning them in and attaching it to an actor component because most people like to spawn the actor from class for certain weapons they have they make an actor of that weapon and then spawn it directly on their character but the reason i do it this way is because i'm able to actually have more control over how I want the weapon to sit inside of my hands when I have certain animations because you will run into issues with certain animations when you use spawn actor from class to spawn the weapon on your character where the weapon actually doesn't align correctly with the animation that you have so when you go this route and you have the ability just to attach the weapon directly to the hand socket that we just made or whatever socket you want to make you'll notice that the weapon is literally directly on the socket all you have to do is just like move it over a little bit and just adjust it so the weapon actually fits correctly in the hand now for um, simplicity purposes i'm not trying to make this look as perfect but if you have time to sit there and make it look perfect you can definitely make sure that it looks perfect and aligns correctly with your hand i'm gonna right click and i'm gonna go over here to blueprint class and i'm just gonna create an actor and i'm just gonna type in sword now like i said this is how some people spawn the actor in from class but you have to do it this way as well if you want to spawn your actor in from class because you have to get a reference to that actor that you're going to be spawning in into your game and you're going to be spawning onto your character but what i'm going to do is in order to be able to pick this weapon up i'm just going to type in skeleton mesh because obviously i want to get a reference to the sword now if your weapon is a static mesh just type in static mesh you can do the same thing and i'm just going to type in sword three so over here we have sword three now i'm just going to leave the sword like this now that so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on this little plus icon right here and then I'm just going to type in box and I'm actually going to be getting a reference to a box collision because we need the box collision to be able to sit there and allow our character to walk over to this weapon and then get the UI that tells the player that they have the ability to actually pick up the weapon. So once I do that, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to be getting on begin overlap and then I'm also going to go back and I'm going to get um, component end which is basically going to allow the character to actually walk out of the box collision and then remove the ui that we're going to be having now if you want to learn a little bit more about like begin overlap and how overlap ends i have a video which will be linked down below in the description also if you guys want to support me as well as support the tutorials you can definitely check us out on patreon as well that i'll leave up the project files available on patreon or you can guys can buy me a coffee which will be down below in the description if you feel like supporting the channel all right so the next thing we're going to be doing is i'm actually going to go over here i'm actually going to cast to our third person character real quick so i got to type in cast to I think it's two third person BP if I'm not mistaken. That's what the character is. Yes, so it's going to be cast your third person BP or whatever your character is called. I'm just going to drag this in right here. I'm just going to drag over here and I'm going to drag this in. And then I'm just go right this and I'm just going to connect this up right here. Okay, so once we do that, once I compile, the next thing I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to real quick, I'm going to make the UI so we can actually have the ability to see when our character is inside of the box and gets a message that allows them to know that they can pick this weapon up. So I'm just going to right click. I'm going to go over to user interface. I'm going to go to wizard blueprint. I'm just click on this real quick and I'm just going to type in pickup. So this is going to be the UI for our pickup. To do over here, I'm just going to type in canvas panel. So I'm going to drag the canvas panel on right here. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to type in image. And I'm just going to get a reference to an image real quick. So I can have the ability just to make a transparent box. So I'm just going to drag this up a little bit. I'm probably just going to leave it like this size. And then right here, I'm actually just going to go over to brush. I'm going to go over to my image. And I'm just going to lower the opacity a little bit like this. And then what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to go ahead and go back to this uh, search panel and I'm type in text and I'm just going to drag this on to the uh, right here to the canvas panel. And then what I want to do for this text over here, I'm just going to type in pickup or I'm going to type in press in, let's say for example, press E for pickup, right? So you guys can use whatever letter you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and put this red and then I'm just going to drag this over here real quick. 
And I'm gonna drag this box out a little bit so I have the ability to drag it off. And so, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just actually just gonna type in outline. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna press in five just to increase the outline so it's able to see right here quick. So once I compile this, the next thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go back to our sword. And then what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna drag off of this. I'm gonna type in create widget. And then what I'm gonna do once I create the widget, I'm actually gonna be getting a reference to the pickup UI we just made. And then from here, what I wanna do, I wanna right click, I'm gonna promote this to a variable. I'm just gonna type in UI ref. And then once I do that, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag off of this. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna type in add to viewport. And then right here, this is gonna allow us to add to a viewport. And then what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna drag off from my UI ref because I'm gonna come down here to on component and overlap and then from here i'm going to drag off from this and i'm just going to type in remove from uh remove from parent so this right here is basically going to allow us to remove the widget from parent once we actually go into the world i can show you guys real quick if i drag this into the world so if i walk up to this box real quick you'll see that i have pressed e for pickup and then if i walk out it will remove it from parent do it real quick i'm just going to go over to product settings I'm gonna go to product settings, I'm gonna go down to input, and I'm just gonna type in for action mapping, which is a lot easier, I'm just gonna type in pick up sword. This is a lot easier if you don't wanna just sit there and just use the E key, obviously you can do it both ways, but this is a little bit more easier to search up like how you wanna look up specific inputs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in E, and we're just gonna go over here, and we're just gonna get the E key. And then I'm gonna go back to my third person character, and then I'm gonna type in sword pick up. Uh, let's pick up sorry i named it backwards and i'm just going to get a reference to this right all right so the next thing i'm going to do i'm actually going to be creating a boolean variable and i'm going to name this can pick up and then i'm going to leave this to false right and i'm going to go ahead i'm going to right click and i'm going to cheat and b i'm going to type in b to be able to sit there and create a branch and then i'm just going to drag this right to press and then what i want to do is over here is can pick up if it's if it's set to true then the player can pick it up but we're automatically going to leave this to false because i don't want the players to be able to pick up the weapon right now i don't want this barrier this boolean variable to be called on directly on my character right so when the player actually walks into the collision box we're going to set can't pick up we're going to set it to true because if we have it set to true automatically then the code will automatically run and it just won't work correctly so if we go over here and i drag off from this and then what i'm going to do i'm going to type in can pick up and i'm actually going to be setting this to true right so this is going to set to true and then if we actually save this logic and we're going to copy this real quick i'm just going to drag this down here and i'm actually going to set this to false right now the reason i'm setting this as a false is because if we run the game and i actually walk into the box collision it's going to say that can pick up is going to be set to true but if i leave the box collision can pick up is going to be set to false so basically that's not going to allow my player to be able to sit there to pick up the weapon if they leave the box clutter by pressing e right so the next thing we're actually going to do is i'm going to go in here i'm going to set up the logic if can pick up is set to true so if can pick up is set to true and we press e what i'm going to do i'm going to drag off my sword right and i'm going to be typing set visibility and i'm just going to be sitting there and setting the visibility to true because we actually hid the visibility of the weapon so that is why i said there and uh, that's what i said earlier in the video that we're going to be hiding the visibility of the weapon so all right so the next thing i'm actually going to do is i'm going to drag off in this and i'm going to type in get actor of all class and then what i'm actually going to do from here is i'm going to get actor of all class and then i'm going to get a reference to my sword because the sword actor is actually in the world and then from here i'm just going to drag off this and i'm going to type in get copy and then over here what i want to do i'm just going to type in destroy actor so this is actually going to allow me to destroy the actor now for some reason i was running into a weird issue where i'm actually unable to destroy the actor directly off the sword itself so this is why i'm actually going to go this route this is how you can destroy actors without actually getting a reference to that actor and actually hard casting to it so i'm going to go over here i'm going to press e and then you'll notice that the sword is actually destroyed from the scene so that is basically how you pick up weapons inside of unreal engine 5 it is actually very easy and it's super simple to do now if you guys have found this tutorial to be very useful or if you're running into any troubles let me know down below in the comment section also make sure you guys join our discord server you can ask me directly about anything you have or any questions you want when it comes to unreal engine 5 make sure to check out our patreon if you want to support free ghost entertainment as well as check out our coffee which is buy me a coffee down below in the description as well if you want to support the channel as well overall hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'm gonna see you guys in my next one